John Wilson for Baker Instrument Company. What I'm going to do today is demonstrate uh, the impedance measurement capability of the DX tester, which is mounted on this uh, port KV right here. So the first thing I'd like to do is just show how we calibrate the instrument. Basically, the impedance meter in the DX consists of two voltmeters. One is measuring the voltage across the current sense resistor, and the other one is measuring the voltage across the device that we're measuring. So by getting the voltage and the current, taking that ratio, we're getting impedance. And from the impedance, knowing that we did it at 60 hertz, we derive inductance. So just to demonstrate uh, these voltmeters at work, um, over here on this plate over here, step over here a bit, you can see I've got a bunch of uh, resistors that are connected in the Kelvin manner. And what I'll do is I'll connect the meter, the baker, as well as a as a fluke uh, voltmeter to these resistors and we'll just demonstrate how good the instrument is uh, agreeing with the meter. Now we want to look at this meter right here. This is a uh, fluke uh, DVM and we can see there that right now I'm running the test we got 650 millivolts. Now let's come over here and look at the, uh, the Baker tester. This number in blue right here is that same measurement so what our Baker DX thought it measured was 651 millivolts. The fluke meter over there measured 650, so that's well under 1%. So we're, we're fairly accurate with this. Now I could go down and test these other resistors here and it'll all be pretty accurate. So what I'd like to leave you with right now is just a, uh, a demonstration that uh, what we're doing, we get very good agreement with other laboratory grade equipment. So let me unhook this thing, and then we'll start doing some impedance measurements. So underneath this whole lash up here, we've got uh, a large green AC induction traction stator. And what we'll do is we'll hook up the fluke uh, meter. So let's uh, just hook those guys up. Now let's look over here and see what it says. Now this particular fluke meter, it's a 6304, um, concludes that we've got 1.04 millihenries and uh, at 60 hertz and the actual impedance that it's measuring is 0.394 ohms or 394 milliohms. So let's just remember those numbers, 394 milliohms and 1.04 millihenries. Let me unhook this one. And we'll hook up our DX. And I'm going to change the screen here. And we'll come to here. We'll set ourselves up for doing AC impedance. Now the Baker DX is a three terminal machine, so it specifically designed for doing three-phase AC induction motors. Let's get our test leads on the right, uh, right leads here. So if you look in here, we've got three Kelvin connections to our motor leads. So let's go over here and run the test. Now here, I've got the machine set up for doing inductance at 60 hertz. All you gotta do is press the go button. So it'll automatically measure lead one to two, two to three, and three to one. So there's our lead one to two measurements, two to three measurements, and our three to one's coming up. And now it's calculating the unbalance of those uh, measurements. So here in the blue line, let's just zoom in here a little bit if we can. Sure. The blue line is the impedance in ohms and the angle in degrees. So we've got a measurement of 0.415 ohms at 88.8 .8 degrees, then doing the math, we deduce that that's 1.1 millihenries. Now our other fluke meter over there uh, concluded it was 394 milliohms, so we're off a little bit, and 1.04 millihenries. Now there is some disagreement. The only thing that we can say is with this instrument here on the DX, and the other laboratory grade equipment that we've got, the measurements that this box is making are dead nuts on. 
unfortunately, I can't say anything else about the, the Fluke uh, PM6304, but uh, uh, so there is some slight disagreement, but um, I think the Baker's right. So that was this big three-phase AC traction motor. Let's uh, hook up to this uh, 480 volt motor and see what it does. So we hooked up the fluke meter and it says it's 31.8 millihenries and its impedance at 60 hertz is 13.2 ohms. So let's just remember that, 31.8 millihenries and 13.2 ohms. Let me uh, disconnect this guy and hook up the baker. Zoom in on the connections there, we can see what we got connected. Again, there's three Kelvin connections to the three phase AC induction motor. And if we look at the screen over here, I'll just push the go button. Now, some of the data there is from our previous measurement. As we get new measurements, the old ones will be erased. So, here we've got lead one to two. 2 to 3, 3 to 1. Our impedance is 13.2 ohms, and that results in a 32.04 millihenry inductance. So this is the one that we measured before with the fluke, and um, I can't remember the numbers. Uh, this will stay here, so let me hook up the fluke again, and we'll uh, give it a comparison. So here it was 31.8 at 13.25 ohms. Over here on the Baker, it's 13.2 ohms, the same ohmic value, and we get uh, 32 millihenries, whereas the Fluke uh, LCR meter got 31.8. So we're in very good agreement here. So that's, I believe that's under 1%, just talking off the top of my head. So that's the, uh, the Baker DX compared to laboratory grade test equipment. There is some slight variations, but uh, everything we can tell about our instrument using other laboratory grade equipment to uh, compare it to, we're right on the money. So um, that's the Baker DX and the